Hello everyone, welcome to a new cosplay vlog. First of all, I just want to say that I have gotten a new phone since you saw my last cosplay vlog and I'm very pleased. Look at how crisp this picture is. It is a dream. So no more um, low res con vlogs. We are only doing high quality con vlogs from here on out. I'm very excited that my phone finally takes like nice video. Today is the first day of Capital City Comic Con, which is a small con that happens in Victoria, BC, um, which is just across the water, like literally across the water from Vancouver, if you don't know where that is. It's a beautiful small town. So as you can see, I'm in my Catherine of Aragon cosplay because today is competition day. So I am entering the Capital City Comic Con cosplay contest and we'll see what happens. Here I am. Very nice. So yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I'm very happy that this cosplay actually made it across the journey because I had to take like a ferry to get here and I was a walk-on passenger for that. So I had to pack everything up and like make sure that it all got to Victoria in one piece. And I'm very pleased to say that it has all come together in one piece. We need to do some minor repairs, but aside from that, it is all good to go. So I'm very pleased about that. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for my ride and I will eventually be at the convention. I'm gonna have to get there super early for my pre-judging and um, I'm gonna get there like a little bit earlier than I need to be just so that I'm like there for pre-judging. But the convention, it is only like about 1.45 out. That clock doesn't work. Um, <laughs> if you're wondering, um, it's about, I can actually check. It is 1.39, so I was not that far off. My prejudging isn't until 2.30, so I'm gonna get there around like 2.15ish and um, just be there like early, even though the convention will not be open by that point, but hopefully I can like get my panelist badge and get signed in and everything and it will all be good. So anyway, that's the plan for today. Very excited and I'll be taking you guys with me, so stay tuned. <laughs> That's so corny. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> um, keep watching for my adventures. There you go. <laughs> so I'm still waiting for my ride, but it's getting closer and closer to my judging time. And I am friggin' getting nervous. <laughs> I've been cosplaying for like 13 years. I've done competitions before, but I'm getting nervous. I don't know what to tell the judges about my costume and like how I made it and everything. So like, we'll see how this all goes. We will see. All right, so I have finished my pre-judging. I wasn't as awkward as I thought I would be. Um, it was all good, so I'm very pleased. Um, there's some stiff competition, so I'm not really expecting to like win anything, but it's for the experience. So I'm very happy to like have this experience. I love getting to be on stage, so it's gonna be fun to just get to strut and pose and everything. It's gonna be great. Um, so there's nothing else I really have to do until 4 p.m., which is when um, we're all supposed to meet back at the theater to get ready for our walk-ons. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill out and yeah. Okay team, so here's what's going on. I've taken a few photos to do like a little mini photo shoot with my phone and now I'm waiting for the cosplay contest to actually begin. It is 3 p.m. right now. I need to be there at 4 and I have nothing to do because the convention doesn't open until 4. Um, so I've just been like chatting with people and people have been like saying hi and stuff like that, which has been really nice. We got to meet some of you guys, which has been absolutely lovely. So that's really good. Um, but aside from that, I have nothing to do and I can't sit in this cosplay because of the skirt. So I've had to just stand with like these heels, um, which has not been very fun. So um, I'm just kind of vibing and trying not to think about how much my feet hurt. But anyway, once I actually get to the cosplay contest, hopefully it'll be more interesting for you guys. But that's what's, that's what's happened. Okay, just kidding. The convention is actually open at three. So it's open now so I can walk around. I'm gonna walk around hopefully for a little bit and take some video, some B-roll for you guys, um, and then get to the cosplay contest. I'm just a mess today. I don't look like a mess, but I feel like I'm a mess. Anyway, we're gonna walk around.
finished the cosplay, well, I finished the cosplay contest. Rory watched the cosplay contest. And um, I won second place in Journeyman, which I didn't even know I was in Journeyman, <laughs> but apparently I was. Uh, so I won second place, which was good. They just didn't give us anything. Like, we didn't get prizes or anything, which is a little bit interesting. So we'll see if maybe they, like, give it to us later? Because there's supposed to be prizes. But either way, I won second place, so I think that's pretty good. So now, like, the cosplay contest ended, like, an hour after it began. Um, it was supposed to go until, like, 7. So now we just have all this time to kill. So I guess we're gonna, like, hang out and do stuff. Do stuff. So, yeah. But I did it, and my tummy hurts only a little bit from nervousness. <laughs> Okay, so I filmed with Tim, got some photos, so that is all good. Um, and I got my uh, prize. They did actually give them out, but they gave them out after the competition. So I got my second, is that upside down? No, uh, Journeyman, second place. We're gonna see, what is it? It's money. <gasps> the best <laughs> prize. Dude, it's money. I mean, it is an envelope. Dude, there's like money in here. Yeah. 40, 60, 80, 100, 150 dollars! Cash for good cosplay! Cash for good cosplay! Yeah! Rain. Make quick cash for cosplay in your local area. In your local area! Thanks Capital City Comic Con for the money! <laughs> <laughs> for tonight I can eat, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, so I am back home. I changed into my very um, subtle t-shirt and um, we're gonna be going out for dinner so that's gonna be really nice it was a very successful day I'm very happy to be out of my boots because the heels on those are insane um, so my feet are like killing me right now um, so yeah so we're gonna go for dinner I'm gonna get to see some friends and like catch up so um, it's gonna be really good Hello, so it is day two of Capital City Comic Con. I didn't get to vlog while I was like getting ready, um, but I'm here now and I found a nice little corner so that I don't look super, super weird vlogging in public, um, but I still look weird vlogging in public. Anyway, today is my panel day, so I'm gonna be doing my introduction to YouTube panel. That starts in an hour, so I'm gonna head over to the panel room, um, make sure that I'm there, make sure that I'm ready to actually do the panel, and, um, Hopefully it will be good. And my eyelashes, I know, are absolutely wacky today. They are not doing what I want them to do, so just don't, don't worry about it. Anyway, um, let's go inside. Okay, so I've made it to my panel room. Here it is, look at all these people. There's 80 seats in here. Oh my goodness, there's gonna be so many people. We've got microphones and water and there's me. <laughs> um, because I have my phone, I was smart and I brought my own HDMI to USB-C cord um, because I, I didn't want there to be any tech issues and I just figured out how to make my slideshow appear on the TV so like, this is happening on the TV right now. How how wacky is that? I love that. So um, I'm gonna, I have, how much time do I have? I have about 20 minutes until my panel starts. So I'm just gonna um, chill out for a little bit, um, probably run through my panel before it actually starts just so that I'm like warmed up and ready. But um, yeah, I'm really excited and hopefully it will go well. Oh, 
Okay, so I just finished my panel. It went super well. We didn't have any technical issues, which is exactly what I what I was hoping for. And there was a really good turnout. Like it was pretty much a full room and people asked, people actually asked questions at the end of it, which is really good. So um, now I have no plans for the rest of the day except to hang out with my dad later. So I'm just gonna look around the con a little bit and then meet up with my dad and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Okay, so we are done at the con now. Um, I did some shopping, which I'll show you guys later what I got because I have a, a cool little haul to show you guys. Um, so now I'm gonna be walking around with my family and we're just going to just kind of look around downtown Victoria and hang out, um, which I think is gonna be really nice. So I'll take you guys with me for that. So we are back. We had a nice little stroll downtown. It was very pleasant. And now we're going to make some nachos and watch a movie, which I think is gonna be really nice. But I just wanted to show you guys what I got because I got some really exciting things. I didn't get a whole lot, but the things that I did get was really exciting. So the first thing I got is this enamel pin that says Pantone and then the number and then Illusion and then it's sparkly. Um, I thought this was absolutely beautiful, so I'm very happy that I got that. Here's the artist that you can check out from Jack Face, who is amazing. I got two of these Eddie pins. Um, I got one for me and one for Justine so that we can have matching Eddie pins because I promised that I would bring her back something either Stranger Things related or a fancy tea. And since I did find something Stranger Things related, I decided to get her that. I thought this was really nice because his hair is all sparkly, um, which I really like. So this is gonna go on my eventual Eddie Ida bag. And what's super exciting is I visited the artist for the Ghostbusters comics, whose name is Dan Schoening, and he is super nice. I um, saw that he had an Extreme Ghostbusters print, which I, I got. I'm not gonna unroll it, but it's basically the same art as on this. So as soon as I saw that, I was like, I absolutely have to have that. And since I bought the print, he also threw in this Extreme Ghostbusters like actual comic for free, which is really, really sweet and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much to Dan for that. I'm so thrilled to find anything that is Extreme Ghostbusters related. So this is really, really exciting. I'm gonna cherish this. I'm gonna cherish this print forever. I'm just so happy because as you know, Extreme Ghostbusters is one of my most favorite things ever. So I'm really, really happy about that. And that's all I got. I also wanted to show you guys that um, I am actually in the program for the convention. Right here, there I am, isn't that exciting? So I was very thrilled when I saw this. 
Um, but yeah, overall, it was a really nice time. I will not be going tomorrow. I'll be seeing my grandparents instead. Um, so this was just kind of like doing half the weekend going to the convention, then half the weekend hanging out with my family. That was the plan. So um, I think that all went very well. So yeah, so now we're going to have nachos. We're going to watch a movie and it's going to be really nice. So anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you are new here and you'd like to see more videos like this, I put out new videos every Sunday. It would be awesome to have you here. So so feel free to subscribe. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you guys all next time. But until then, Pedavasis, please be sure to take care. Bye.